Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you. There's a black heart sign, a black hand again asking you to hit that share button first before you even think about the like or the subscribe button because the message is more important than the messenger. Um, I wanted to uh, tie some or connect some dots in the manosphere right now specifically the black manosphere or the negro manosphere if you want to call it that and these dots right now seem to um, they pretty much seem to be um, yeah they pretty much seem to be unconnected but they really are connected um, you might look at them and think that it's not the same but in fact it is um, and that being said, let me go ahead and um, start with Rom Will's last two videos. The first video is um, that uh, debate makes no difference. The women will choose to select. I think he's right. They will. Uh, the second video is that... Uh, Nest appeal and sex appeal are two different appeals to women. So this being said, um, he's telling the truth. He's 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 not lying about it. The problem is that the conclusions to which this must inevitably lead us are not being spoken. He. He's telling the truth, but he's not telling us what is the next step. And I'm waiting on, uh, actually, I'm not going to wait on him to say that Western women's standards are jacked up. They're not natural. They're not normal. You can't justify them uh, by um, the moral standards of any culture. Um, I'm not waiting on him to come to this realization. I don't have a reason to. And then in reality, uh, if Western women want certain things that are mutually exclusive in men, we have the right to ask why they would want them. Western women, uh, likewise, uh, they have the right to have a preference but I'm going to take you back in time. I mentioned to you before how when I was growing up, I was told various things about what women want and what they don't want. I mentioned how um, I was very confused. I didn't know why I was getting silent treatment. I didn't know why I was being told so many different things. Um, and then being shown the complete opposite. I didn't know why women were hostile to me. I'm talking mostly black girls. Uh, when I was from uh, between middle and high school. I didn't know why they were hostile. I didn't know why uh, why I heard a lot of lies that other people, uh, a lot of other men really didn't seem to have to deal with. I didn't know why it was um, that um, in a nutshell, I was being tricked into not having sex appeal. That's really what happened. I was being tricked into it when, in fact, um, I would have been willing, at, at a younger age, I would have been willing for other reasons, for health reasons, to do certain things that would have increased it. I was told by lady friends, I was told by uh, female relatives to a certain extent, but fortunately not my own mother. She didn't lie. But I was told um, what mattered and what didn't matter. I was told through the television. Uh, I was given that whole blue pill lie. So I was tricked into having no sex appeal. And I thought that I was going to be, um, I mean, I wound up, pretty much wound up being tricked into, uh, not 
No, I'm sorry. I was tricked into having a sex appeal, but I was... Um, in, a, in a nutshell, I wound up accidentally through no, con no fault of my own, through no control, just with the economy, I wound up um, not being able to develop a lot of next uh, a nest appeal. But it wasn't for lack of trying. It was simply because... Uh, Simply because of the economy, simply because I couldn't uh, control a lot of these things that and nobody could. It was simply because we, we, was, we were just stuck this way. But um, when it came to sex appeal, that wasn't because of an economy. That wasn't because of any of these things. Sex appeal only came about, or the, the lack of it rather, only came about because I was lied to. Because women lied. Women uh, to whom I was related, rarely. Women with whom I went to school, sometimes, uh, oftentimes actually, friends of mine, and so since I was lied to by them, um, I can't sit up here and look and say, well, it was my fault that I wasn't select. Uh, it was my fault that I was lied to by them. It was my fault that I was mistreated. It was my fault that they would tell me uh, or, or they would give me uh, these standards that had to be met. And then they turn around and do all this for other guys for free. It was you know, my fault that I got less out of them for many years. Um, even if I was willing to do more, it was my fault that I was only um, seen as a good option when they became single mothers uh, or when they just couldn't find other men. I can't sit up here and look at myself and say, oh, this was on me. No, it wasn't. If I had been told when I was younger that it is not the courage of a man that these, by which women judge, uh, Western women judge a, a man's manhood, it is his winning he has to win in order for them to even see him as a man, then I would have known I got to win. And since no man really can win every single conflict unless he only goes around starting and picking conflicts uh, that he can win, then these women are too stupid to see that, so therefore they're really not women. There's no use in me going through all of this to be seen by little girls as a grown man. Therefore, I can plan my life by myself. I was always told, you know, um, hobbies, they're important. Be about your, they're pretty much the uh, teenage equivalent of be about your purpose. And I was told this by older men. They did not explain that, they didn't say, well, you're going to see very attractive and intelligent women from good upbringings, women who, uh, who you would look at and think you should be going after and you shouldn't. You will see them chasing behind other men. The women that even your own mother would tell you you should be chasing after. She's going to chase after another man. He ain't really dedicated to a particular purpose. He just ain't interested in her or he doesn't value her. But that's because he already has so much sex appeal that other women do value him. So she's going to chase after him too. That there is no right person out there for a guy like you. No one said this. So nowadays, many men, like Rom, may want to tell unselected men, look, you just not select, go to the gym, fix this, fix that. I'm going to say to them, it is fine to say to a man that based on certain criteria, women will determine these not select, but I'm not going to side with you when you act like the Western woman is a normal woman. She is not. I can't side with you in that. I thank Ron Wills individually because he gave the game, deep game, and he just gave it. He just said, look, women can't come out and tell you this about themselves because uh, you're not ready for them to tell you that what they want to do is go out and screw this other guy over here because he got the muscles and then bring you the baby for you to raise and, and, and provide for her. That you have to be the husband so that some other, somebody else can be the boyfriend without paying the price. This 
is what he gave this game. Allen Roger Curry actually even gave this to a certain extent. I'm glad that they gave this game, but what they have failed to do is to come out and say the Western woman is a trifling bitch on average. It's not that there are no good ones, but they're taken. They have yet to come out and say the Western woman is a trifling bitch. You can't trust her. The good ones are taken. They exist, but they're taken. What's available, what's left, is trash, and they know it, and that's why they always say this about men. Everything they're going to blame men for actually turns out to be true about them. When it's true and when it's not true of men, it will be true about them, and you need to know this. They're not coming out and saying this. Then they're coming out and talk about how easy they would be on you if you were just more like them. But, brothers... Let me go ahead and tie this in. See, I'm a man that will take responsibility when I do something wrong. But many of us would do that. Most of us who will take responsibility when we do something wrong are the same kinds of men who will take extra precautions to not do things that are wrong. Thereby leaving truly honest mistakes in our wake. But not just careless mess ups and irresponsibilities. So. This is one of the things that leads to being able to develop a being able to develop a good nest appeal, because when you're working with people, these things are necessary. You will take responsibility when you're wrong, but you're also not just going to go around carelessly or recklessly screwing things up. You become better to work with. People know they can trust you. You can amass a, 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 a decent nest over time, if not a great nest. But by the same token, the Western bitch does not recognize this trait in a man. So you get the good nest because of this good trait. She, the same trait that gets you the good nest, she turns around and finds to be unattractive. So what Ron Wills left out is that the nest appeal and the sex appeal are mutually exclusive, not because they have to be. A few men can have both, but they're, they're mutually exclusive because the women want one at the expense of the other. They are judging one at the expense of the other. They have made the two mutually exclusive. You got sex appeal. What does this mean? You get a certain mindset you got to have. It ain't just the muscles. Well, what do they mean by a dominant mindset? This is what's going on. He's not addressing that because none of them are. It's not just your muscles or your height that are the reason that the same girl you might have been trying to get with back in the day that you looked up to and you respected when you didn't know it was actually letting careless niggas run a train on her. And you would have no clue. It's not just because uh, something wrong with you because you just didn't have sex appeal. No, it's because the fact that you had nest appeal or the fact that you could have nest appeal later is why she decided you had no sex appeal. It could be that it was something out of your control. It could have been that you were short. But that's not all. This is what's not being talked about. And this is why there should have never been a passport gate. It is time for everyone to admit that the Western woman is flawed. Whether it's Becky or Sapphire, she's flawed. You cannot make her happy. She cannot appreciate whatever is in front of her. She will only remember that which is not on the table in front of her. Passport gate should have never been an issue. Passports should have been more issued widely. That's what should have happened. More black men should have been left this country more than a decade ago. Brazil should have been more popular. The DR. Mama Africa. At the end of the day, it comes down to this. When these guys give you the game, the next thing they need to be telling you is that the two options are this. Either you're just one of those few guys for whom they're willing to go ahead and let in anyway, or you start planning your life by yourself and living for yourself until the day that you can get a passport and go find somebody else. And frankly, I'm not going to tell you to travel just to fornicate. 
I'm, there's no way I, a Muslim, am going to tell you that. But you can plan your life by yourself or you can plan to get a skill that will allow you to make it big in another place and then you can marry there. Because Lord knows if you bring an, another woman back into the West with you, your marriage is over. That's known. And she ain't going to leave until she marries you and then has been married to you for uh, long enough to become a citizen. Otherwise, she'll never leave you anyway. So don't bring them back. So you might as well go ahead and work on skill sets that will allow you to make it big in another nation. That's what you need to be doing. Because they don't, they will not respect you. They don't respect you. They won't. They can't. They're just not capable. It's just not something that they can do. So what is your best bet? Go on ahead, plan your life by yourself up until the point you got a skill set or retirement or something else that will allow you to do well abroad and then you can marry there. That's it. When they talk about the lowering testosterone levels in men. My question is, what the hell do most men need a, a surge of testosterone for anyway? I mean, enough to be men, sure, but why do they need the extra? What's the reason for that? Testosterone causes a high libido. That's what it does. If testosterone causes a high libido, and most men are simply not sexually select to most women, especially in the West, then what the hell do they need this extra testosterone for? They're dealing with women that want them to have all the testosterone in the world when it's time to move heavy stuff, but then they want them to put the dangling down when everybody's finished moving and he likes some sexual relief. And this is going on even in marriages. These dating coaches ain't telling you that. Now, to a certain extent, they may be telling you how to be that guy that they would rather they, they they wouldn't do this stuff to. And that's great. But at no point are they sitting up and saying, actually, the women are screwed up and no, they can't use their nature as an excuse for this. They will, but they can't. Who's going to sit up and explain this to them? I'm still waiting. Who's going to say to the men, look, this is what they want, but you don't have to tolerate it. Fit the guck out. Who's going to promote this? And this is why I said I'm a passport gorilla. This is why I said passport icons roll out loudly with noise. Make these folks know because every man can make their own choice. But this does not mean that you sit there and lie and don't tell the women what they need to know. They are effed up in the West. And in some non-Western cultures, they're just as jacked up. But those cultures are rare and they probably don't last more than a few generations anyway. These things need to be known. These things need to be said because what Ron Wills even said to us was that women cannot come out and tell us what their nature is like or what they are like deep down <clears throat> sexually because we're not ready for them to tell us that what they want is six feet, six pack, eight inches to breed the baby and you regular do to take care of the baby. And you pay all the price and all the responsibility and everything else, and he just hits it for free. And goes on and screws someone else and repeats the cycle. And he's right. We're not ready to hear this. What's one of the reasons? We're not ready to hear this because, well, frankly, would women be ready to hear this? If we could trick women into doing all that we have to do to raise kids, and we trick them into doing all of this stuff for children that weren't theirs, thinking that they were theirs, they would kill us. Now, some women can be convinced to do it, but if we could trick them into doing it, they would kill us. I mean, most women actually, when they, when they get ready to kill a man, they get ready to kill a man because of uh, deception. They can't tolerate it when it's done to them, but they want to fight governments for the right to do it to you. Who's going to come out and say this? Who's going to spell this out for us? Obviously, we can't look to certain ones in them to do it. Now, Ron Wills did come very close to it, and I appreciate him putting us up on game. <laughs> Alpha Male Strategies, I appreciate him putting us up on game. I really do. But the one thing that has to be understood that they have not come to yet and is, is the understanding that at the end, when a man is not select, it's usually not his fault. Who the hell was sitting up teaching him how to be select? 
Nest appeal, you can be taught that at a young age to a certain extent. How to be a good worker when you gotta work as part of a team, you can learn that. You can be told these things when it comes to being what women want you to be in the bed. Or, I mean, pretty much when it comes to being that guy that women want to sleep with, there's, the, 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 you don't learn that. You can't learn it when you're young. By the time you can learn it, you're an adult already. And frankly, all of the PUAs can't agree on how to do it. So what you what you doing paying money to try to figure this out? You already had to pay money to get the dates in which you learned that they didn't want you. Now you got to go pay someone else money to teach you how to be the guy that they want. The question then becomes, well, why should you have to pay that money? If they're the ones that are looking for some dude that's so rare, why not let them pay the money to find these dudes? They should be paying the money actually for someone to come and tell other guys what they want. Because what these women are doing now, you'll notice, the women that are trying to help guys become pickup artists, these women are sitting up and telling you things that women wish you knew. They always say things they wish you knew, like it's your job to read minds. Men, you got to understand it is not your job to read these women's minds. It's not your job to be psychic so that they don't have to communicate. They can talk about everything else. They can talk about this too. It is not your job to be patient so that they can indulge right now and then turn around and have you pay the price later. And it is not your job to be stupid so that they can be stupid. These things are not your job. You're not required to do any of these things. They are required to say what they want or deal with the absence of it. They are required to take the consequences of the choices they make end of story. That's it. We're not holding them to this. And, the, and now you can't hold them to this. So the only thing you can do to hold them to it is to get a passport, get your money, live for yourself until you got enough to take that passport somewhere else. And that's the only way. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I hope this has been a benefit. Assalamu alaikum.